Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, we're very, very excited to have you today. Today's webinar, of course, is going to be focused on ACC Bridge. Um, I am David Campbell, and I'm going to be your uh, your presentation guide today, <laughs> your, your webinar host. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So for today, um, generally what I like to do is I like to give you all a introduction to kind of who we are as TopCon Solutions, TopCon Solutions stores, right? And um, essentially kind of walk you through who we are, where we are, where we're going, and then we'll dive right into it. So TopCon Solutions stores, we are the direct resale or direct sales retail division of TopCon Positioning Systems. And we do have currently, I think 15 or 16 brick and mortar locations throughout the US. Now, the way that TopCon traditionally did things was they sold their products through a channel of independent specialty dealers. But we really, I guess, since the early 2000s, many factors kind of contributed to changing that model. And here at TSS or TopCon Solution Stores, we kind of represent that change. We've consolidated a bunch of formerly independent dealers into a national manufacturer direct retail organization. But what does that mean for something like today, right? We're talking about the Autodesk Construction Cloud. We're going to talk about the bridge tool. How does that fit? Well, TopCon Solutions, we offer a new modern model for servicing not only the civil construction marketplace, but also the vertical construction, really all of construction, that a lot of older independent dealers could not actually um, service. They couldn't provide these services for that. Now, TSS, along with our partner Autodesk, who, of course, is one of the leaders in design and infrastructure development software, we try to offer our customers a complete solutions approach, combining the you know, uh, hardware and software that we get from TopCon, uh, along with the software workflows that we have through Autodesk. And we essentially connect it all together for our clients for a really, really full circle um, solution. And it's not just providing you with, you know, just the software. We do training, we do uh, support, so tech support, anything like that, as well as project-based consulting. Um, if you're looking for workflows from, let's say, going, you know, outside doing, on-site doing layout or scanning and bringing that back in, we, we kind of do the entire, um, all of it, really, the, the entire workflow of, you know, initially starting all the way into handover um and an operation so again my name is david campbell i'm a senior application specialist with topcon solutions now i'm going to go ahead and turn my webcam off here um just so we can dive into the presentation but for today's agenda we're going to be talking about the autodesk bridge today's webinar i wanted to talk about bridge so what is acc bridge what is the bridge tool and what does it do all right so the bridge tool. What you'll notice is that this bridge tool is going to be in your projects under docs, or even if you're using um, a build, it's going to be there right down uh, underneath members. The bridge tool, what'll happen is when you click inside of here, it's going to show you a list of all of your different bridge um, projects, your bridge projects. And then it kind of tells you whether this has incoming or outgoing um, data, right? Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of break this bridge tool down and show you kind of kind of how this works, how to set it up, and why the bridge tool is uh, valuable, right? Now, one of the big things I'm seeing about bridge, and and some people are you know gonna ask, well, what what is bridge? What what exactly does it do? So with bridge. It enables you to share information across your projects or accounts. So in this case, what we can do is we can send any files or sheets from our, our, our project, let's say the ACC school project, over into another account or another project. The nice thing about that is, and let's, let's, let's think about this for a second, um, with the Autodesk Construction Cloud, usually, you know, one company will start the project. They will hope they will invite other members from different companies to join in that project, right? Well, if you're in someone else's project, do you own your data? No. Um, 
you can download it, you know, all that kind of stuff, but your data is living inside of someone else's project at that point. So if you want to, let's say, own your data, you want to work at it in your project and essentially, you know, send them, uh, send other consultants or GCs or whoever um, wants this data. If you want to send them that data, the bridge tool is there for that purpose, right? It's going to allow us to bridge across, again, those files or sheets um, within docs over to any other project. Now, you're going to see the incoming and outgoing. So we can actually set this to go both ways. And then one big thing I want to make sure that I talk about today is the actual automation, right? So as you start to bridge, and essentially what will happen is um, a project admin will need to set up the bridge. They will create like an invitation. They'll send it out. I have a whole video that I'm going to show you guys here in a second, kind of going through this process. But essentially, if they set up a folder automation, what it'll do is it'll look into that folder anytime a file is updated or a file is added, it will automatically bridge that data over into the other project. So again, in this case, you would own the data in your project, bridge it across to another project or another account, and you know connect that data workflow there. At that point, it's going to version control inside of that project, much like it does in ours. Of course, it'll be different, right? Because it's going to be based off of when you bridge. So it enables you to share information across your projects or your accounts. It's going to also enable automations to ensure that all of the teams have the most up to date versions. So, again, when we go ahead and set an automation, it is going to be based off of a folder. If you send sheets, if you send individual files, there is no automation with those. The only automation that you're gonna get is when you actually choose one of the folders. Now, I will also tell you that the bridge tool is kind of um, picky. It will look at the parent folder and any files. Let me go ahead and make sure I, I, I um, kind of break this down. It'll look in this example, the architectural folder and any files that are underneath the architectural folder will automatically be bridged. But if you have any subfolders underneath, let's say the parent folder architectural, it is not going to take those subfolders or any documents held within those subfolders. It is only at the parent folder level. So, in my video here, and I just wanted to make sure because I, I know how live demos can be. So I went through and recorded this um, so I could essentially kind of walk you guys through what the process of bridging a new project looks like and how to really set that up. So I'll go ahead and push play here. So you'll see inside of the bridge tool. And again, I'm going to pause this really quick. You need to be a project admin to go ahead and, and create a new bridge. Okay. What will happen is you'll hit bridge new project. You'll send the email out to the person that you want to bridge to. So in this case, I was sending it to my TopCon email and the message for the invitee is time to bridge. So once that invitation goes through, you're going to see that essentially pop up here. And uh, this is Outlook, right? So you hit choose your project to bridge and then it's, it'll essentially take you right back into build and then it'll ask you, what project do you want to bridge? So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select one of my projects here and I hit bridge to project. So now what I have success and actually I wanted to talk about that one here for a second. I want to make sure I, I rewind this just a little bit. The br if, if your project is already bridged, so my ACC school project is the one that I am bridging from and I am bridging that data into Autobahn 2022. But again, if you already have a bridge on that project, it is not going to let you bridge another time. So a lot of times what I will tell you guys to do is if you need to update or change what is being bridged from that project, just go back and modify your existing bridge or delete it and then create a new one to expand it. It is not going to let you um, essentially create a new bridge if that already if that project already has one in it oh and it, it went back and 
rewound a little bit there for me. So I'm going to make sure I pull this forward. And there we go. So again, once that invitation has been um, sent, you just click on choose your project to bridge. You would select the project that you're bridging your data across to. And then once that project is, is chosen, we will go ahead and choose a folder or files or the sheets to go ahead and bridge across to that. So again, this one's just gonna tell me that, hey, there's already one here. If I go ahead and switch that to one of my other projects, such as my ACC example project, it'll go ahead and go through. Now, once this comes up, it's gonna ask me again, what do I wanna bridge and how do I bridge, right? So at this point, we've just created the bridge between the projects. Notice that we do not have any files, any folders, nothing like that. So how do we create the actual bridge itself? It's not going to be going through, you know, bridge a new project. What you'll see is essentially we will need to go into docs, and that's what's it's going to go ahead and click into that here for me. So we'll need to go into either docs or build. You'll want to go down to your files. So again, docs uh, is files or files within build. And this is the big piece here. What you're going to want to do is select the folder or those files or again in sheets here within build that you want to bridge across. And what you're actually going to do is you're going to go ahead and select these three little dots next to it, such as my construction documentations there. And then you're going to hit share. Now, when you hit share, the piece that's going to be big here is another project. And then we have this setting here, automatically sync updates to target project. This is how you actually enact the bridge. Yes, you're giving permissions when we hit create bridge new project, you're essentially creating the framework for it, right? You're setting it up, you're giving permissions to go ahead and bridge data over to that project. This is where you actually specify what you're taking across. Oh, and I went too fast on that one, I apologize. Let me go ahead and go back here for a minute. So when we go ahead and click, and I'm gonna take this back for a quick second here, there we go. So you will choose another project, automatically sync updates, You'll choose the title of, of your bridge, that you'll select the project, and then you actually dive into the folders that you're going to actually place this in. So in this case, I've selected the 07 construction documents on my other project here, and then you click share. And notice there, let me go ahead and take this back for a quick second. It is telling me it is going to synchronize 14 files. So all of these documents, notice it's not gonna be the 07.1 layout, the Conco sheets here. It's not taking any of these subfolders. It's mainly looking at, oh, I, I know why I did that now. I, I keep hitting my, my scroll for my mouse. I apologize, everybody. It's taking me through my PowerPoint there. But essentially it is the, um, it is going to take all of these documents that are located under that parent folder. Now, the other cool piece about this is you're gonna see and I'll, I'll, I'll switch over to that other project here, but there's an attribute within docs or within files and build called synced with bridge. This is actually going to tell you, so as I navigate over to my other project here, you see that little symbol right there. That tells you, and all of these files underneath tell you that these are actually coming in from my ACC school project, and they will automatically sync with updates from that project. So again, now that I'm in there, I can see that I have an incoming bridge, and we see the exact data being that 07 construction documents. We go into that folder, you're gonna see that all of these are currently coming in from the bridge tool. Now again, when I make any changes to these, you'll notice again here, they're version one, but if I make a change, let's say to that, that um, LTU bid package one here, and this goes to V2, and what I did was I went in and I placed markups on it um, and then saved it. And when I did that, it automatically updates my heavy project here to that version two. So as soon as I make changes, even to that PDF document there, there it goes, um, it's going to update automatically from, and you'll notice that that's another big one right there. 
Notice all of these other these other documents are saying updated by me. I synchronized, I made the bridge, but this one here, it's telling me that it's ACC system because again, I updated the file in my ACC school project and bridged it across here. So this is coming from that ACC system. It's a good way to, to essentially um, see which files were bridged over, right? What, what's been changed. All right, so again, that bridge tool is located whether you're in build or docs, you're gonna be able to see the account, you'll see the active automations, if you have folders, any sheet automations, if you wanted to bridge sheets across, it's, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So let's say I wanted to grab these few sheets here, I would go to share, we would select another project, you'd specify the title of your bridge, and then you're gonna go ahead and select the project that you want these to go into. And then the other big one there is if you check mark automatically send new sheet versions, you can do that as well. So each time that a sheet is updated, it will automatically bridge over to that other project. And we'll see those starting to come in here. Well, guys, thank you so much. If you have any other questions, um, our address is info at topconsolutions.com. I, I don't know why I didn't put it on that slide. I apologize about that. But if you have any questions, feel free to call us, email us in. Um, we're happy to help in any way that we can. If you're looking into using this bridge tool more and you maybe want like a focus demo or anything like that, reach out, let us know. We're happy to help any way that we can. Again, thank you all so much for your time. Um, this webinar was also recorded, so we will make sure to um, post up the recording after that is done being processed. But if we don't have any other questions, I will definitely give you guys some time back in your day. And uh, I just, again, thank you so much for, uh, for attending.